Happy New Year everybody, Bobby Hogan here, bringing you another video for our challenge group that starts Monday, January 6th. There's a couple of ingredients I kind of want to talk about that you might find a little bit difficult to find in your normal stores, such as Walmart. If you're here in Gulf Breeze, if you're looking in Publix and Winn-Dixie, you might not find it as well. So one of the items you should be able to find in the, your local grocery stores is something called liquid amino brags. Okay? Now some of you might have this in an apple cider vinegar already, but you haven't seen it in what we're going to call soy sauce, because it's actually made from the soybean and strictly from the soybean. I'm going to compare this to your probably your biggest uh, comparison, which would be Kiko and soy sauce. Now Kiko and soy sauce is going to have about 920 milligrams of sodium. The average that you're supposed to have is anywhere from 1500 milligrams to a maximum and let's stay away from the maximum 3000 milligrams uh, for your daily intake so with Kinko Man being at 920 milligrams if you look on the back of your liquid amino brags it gives it to you, it gives it to you in half a teaspoon so if we double it it says sodium 160 milligrams so if we double that we're looking at 320 milligrams compared to the 920 milligrams now for those of you who might have um, some types of intolerances to gluten or if you suffer from celiac disease gluten is a big one and inside of the kinko mans you're going to see one of the ingredients is wheat so as we start to learn how to eat clean or improve our eating uh, eating habits we need to become label readers if you look behind your label if you look on the back and you read the label and the, the, your, typically your top first three ingredients is going to be your most dominant ingredients in the product. So if you're seeing things such as sugar or some type of corn syrup or a high fructose corn syrup, I would stray away for it, away from it, and start looking at other items to purchase instead of that. So liquid amino brags, you can find it in your Walmart here, you can find it at Publix. I know I I I've definitely seen them there. And, and they're relatively cheap. It's going to be uh, probably seven, eight dollars for a big bottle like this. And this is going to last you oh, two, three months. So very, very minimum cost uh, to improve your health and the amount of sodium that you, they're going to be using. Another item I'd like to talk about is this nutritional yeast. Now some of you are saying, what is nutritional yeast? Well, let's talk about it. So you, you, can, you can Google this, you can look it up, and, and you'll, you'll find that this nutritional yeast it's kind of like a little hidden gem. So what is it exactly and why do I use it in my food? I use it in popcorn. Uh, when we have the kids, we'll sprinkle just a little bit on broccoli and cauliflower. So it's pretty much going to be your substitute that you're going to use instead of butter. Okay. So nutritional yeast, it's yellow. If I put a little bit of my finger here without spilling. Uh, it's a terrible picture, but it's got flakes, and you can see it's flaking everywhere. Now I've got to clean up my desk. But some of the um, some of the the vitamins and nutrients that's in it. Uh, there's fiber. There's four grams of fiber. There's eight grams of protein. Uh, there's vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, and the percentages of your daily value intake range from 130 percent all the way to 640 percent. So it's an amazing superfood that you guys can buy. Um, uh, to, to substitute butter and increase exponentially uh, your health and, and the way that you eat. Now, nutritional yeast, probably not going to find it. Uh, you're not going to find it in Walmart. You won't find it in uh, Winn-Dixie.